Hello, welcome to City Skylines. This is a game I pre-ordered because I've seen YouTubers uh, play it before release and I thought, yes, this is the kind of game that I would actually like playing and I didn't regret my pre-purchase. It's quite a good game. So I'm recording it so you guys can see if you want to buy it and I do suggest that you do. Right, let's choose a place to start. Um, so, this game gives you a pretty decent indication of what's going on here. Um, way, way in by road, way in by train, way in by water, and way in by air. I, th there's no... I'm thinking maybe a place with a roof. <laughs> Big city with a roof on it. Might not have that. Uh, how much water it has, how much oil, how much this and that. Um, so, let's go Green Plains, because I haven't tried this before. So yeah, I picked this up on Steam. Um, thought it was the perfect game. Uh, I've wanted to play City Builder since the newest SimCity came out, but, you know, after watching a lot of videos. I watch a lot of videos on that. Um, it just looked like EA had cocked it up a bit. But this... Um, oh, what are they called again? Um, the guys who made this, the developers, I'll remember in a couple of seconds, don't worry. Uh, they've done a really good job much better than on SimCity isn't even 2000. Right, so first thing we do is build the roundabout uh, let's get my <laughs> and then we choose where our city is going to go. So I'd say industry here because eventually you need a boat to go in and out of the city transporting all sorts of good. Uh, we'll have a, what's it called here? Uh, residential here. I don't know why. That's good. Let's see, wind. And we'll have a wind farm here. So, um, road, straight off Pinkish Junction. <laughs> So the good thing about this game is that it gives you a lot of snap options. Um, if you've never used things like Max or Photoshop or something like that, trust me, it's very useful. Uh, first thing you need to do, build road, uh, build square. See these lines? They're what you need to do. D just keep to, the, keep to the snapping lines and then all your buildings and all your streets will be perfectly square. If you don't want that, there's also you could use these at the bottom, which give you curved roads and things. But currently, I'm a box builder, not an architect. That's what we call someone that builds squares and city skylines. Also, that's what you call someone in <laughs> that makes. Uh, architecture and 3D of box builder. Right, where's the... So, you need... This is residential, this is commercial. Uh, you also need... I'm kind of hoping that they'll add to this game so you don't have to have a water source to start off your city. But, as it goes, it's it's a pretty decent way to do things. So this is an inflow pipe, this is an outflow pipe. It uh, brings water in, it, uh, this one takes shit out. And you need the outflow pipe downstream of where you're building. So all your houses, all your industry, all everything needs all these kind of things. Even the normal buildings need water and electricity. That's why I was scouting out this place. This is uh, a high wind area and if you see there it says that it's got... ooh, it changed how much wind we get. Um, 
So here you get eight, he gets seven, six, five, four, whatever megawatts and it just kind of changed the efficiency of uh, changes the efficiency of what you're building okay now I'm building pylons to put them in the blue areas blue areas is where you connect things up with power and you need them to every building everything except the dump I think so He's going to stop complaining in a second because all this is connected up. I don't need to have a power line right around like that because this is all connected up by itself. Um, now it's asking me if to build some industry, so let's build. Some curved roads, straight roads for me, and a straight shooter. So, industry. Please don't destroy power lines. But yeah, anyway. I usually get rid of power lines as soon as I can because they look ugly as hell. Uh, and I always keep industry away from commercial and residential because industry just pollutes the area and makes so much noise. Also, windmill makes a lot of noise. Once these unlock, I'll show you what I mean by that. So, nope, I don't want to load. Not yet, anyway. So, here's the money. You'll need that to. Well, you need to keep that in the green. Don't really need to say much about it. Uh, okay, speed it up a bit so we can get some industry going. Uh, I forgot to make water pipes. So, you need water pipes for everything. And it really pisses me off that you need water pipes for everything because I always forget putting them down. Right, uh, sewerage availability. Why are you not connected? Oh, there we go. So, also with this, you'll need to think about pollution. Once the pollution thing's in lock, I can show you. But the sewerage outflow pipe, um, it basically dumps straight into the water. And you don't want it being picked up by this. So, the water is flowing this way. Um, later on you can get sewage treatment so you can get rid of that and some of the pollution gets into the water but not as much as just sewage out from pipes. Okay, uh, now we've got a bit of industry, it's asking us to build more residential. I don't care about new information box. Okay, uh, build more down here. A oh, boring city planner. Just wait until we get round box, then things get interesting. Get you, put you down. Um, yeah, water, water's fine. Might as well build another road. And more residential, because we always ask for residential. Uh, a bit more shops, maybe. Let's put shops there. I try and keep them clear. I don't know why. I just do. Uh, right, so. Damn it. This is what I mean by putting down water pipes. I just keep forgetting to do it. You have. Okay, we're getting a bit of electric problems. So, put you down. Get seven out of it because I can't be asking that. Right. Getting power. Right. 500 people. Would you get 500 people in your city? It gives you this nice congratulations. Oh. Graphic point there a bit. Uh, and then you unlock taxes, loans. There's a fly in front of me, flying around my room. It's really annoying. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, then you get schools, uh, medical facilities, and landfills, which uh, I don't know. Education, medical facilities. Let's get medical. Uh, let's get uh, where is this medical clinic? Put this in. 
you get this blue line, uh, green line. I'm not going blind. She's a bit dumb. So you get this green line that tells you how far away it works, and this covers this place pretty nicely. Um, education, education is a bit annoying because it doesn't go as far as medical stuff usually. So this covers this area, and all all our population is going to be the kids are going to be educated. This is a primary school or an elementary school. Right. Asking for more industry, I will also need to put this down. And I need to make sure that it gets to there. So, first thing that you see when you come into my lovely sea is a dump. Yep, you just see big tip. Yep, we just stop giving a shit, guys. Welcome to the best city. It's a shithole. <laughs> Pause electricity. This is a really, really annoying thing that the game does, but when it, when you get the congratulations screen, it slows your game down, and you also you always need to start it up again. I find it annoying. Anyway, okay, more industry. So you just keep these bars in check, uh, keep this in check, and try and make this bigger. <laughs> the more people, the better. Usually, what are you complain about? Oh no, you just land value value is going up. Okay, I can show you the sewage now. So land pollution. This gives a lot of land pollution. This gives a lot of land pollution. This gives water pollution, although it hasn't started doing it yet. Is usually a big brown smear that goes down like that, and get rid of it as soon as you can, because it's so ugly. <laughs> if you want a pretty city, then you need sewage treatment plants. Oh, wow, so much demand for residential now. I actually need to go like this and so to get the oh, do we have no we don't pipes bane of my life oh shit we're also running out of electricity and we don't have enough money shit um how much are you 600 okay so nice time to show you how to get a loan out you click on this here, you click on loans, you take out 5% interest, pay it back as soon as you can. Just good life lesson. Uh, oh. okay, another windmill down, and speed back up again. It's not so bad in this game if you have a loan, because I've played it a few times. And every single time I've had to take out a loan, but I've been able to pay it back. It's just that quick injection of money. Then once it's back to um, two hundred, uh, twenty thousand, you uh, put it back in. So pay back your loan. You open this, pay back. That's how much I've already paid, or oh, that's how much that needs to be paid. And jobs are good. So I can't do much right now because I don't have a lot of money. But it's asking for a lot more residential. I'm gonna start off by building these roads because I don't want people to get angry with me that I've been demolishing houses. It's a thing that I don't like. It, it's not really such a bad thing. Although I'm going to demolish a house while building a road there. Like this. Oop. See, I Um next I guess put more residential in. He's asking for it, that's what he's getting. Oh, there we go. One thousand. Uh this is where it starts getting interesting. 
So, now I've got fire station, police station, uh, new policies, I don't pay attention to them. Forestry and farming. So, these are zoning laws. Quickly. Okay, these, this is zoning. You basically go, you click on this, choose the big paintbrush, do this and this and you call, call it whatever you want <laughs> but for industry running out of water here I need to do something about that um, so with industry it works differently so this is just general industry now but if you come over here you can see that Okay, there's no decent one in this square, but over here, there's a lot of farming area. Fertile lands, Let's see if we can find anywhere else. One. Okay, there's ore over here, more fertile land, a bit of trees, uh, and petroleum down there. Is there more petroleum? Nah. So, there, there are the main things, and you basically put a zone down, paint it in, then you click on this or farming or trees, and then you click on the uh, click on the big splodgy area that you made, and then they turn them into the specific type of place that you want. Right, so let's get some more water. Why are you? Just a pipe knot. Oh, fuck. Fucking bane of my life. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that that has not been working properly because I haven't had water and I just haven't been paying attention to it. It's a massive pain for me. Water treatment. <laughs> I, I wish it wasn't in this game, but it wouldn't be. Um, wouldn't be good otherwise. Uh, get rid of that. Okay, so if you're thinking of getting this game, it's such an awesome game, just so brilliant. I mean, if you just look at this, you zoom in like that, and tell me that it's oh, this is what I love about city builder games. Right, let's check out where this guy's going. So you can follow people around. <laughs> it's weird. Be a proper god stalker on this. See what they're doing. See what their thoughts are. Teenager following teenager around. I not think about that. Oh wait. Yeah. So I can call this dog. Dogger. <laughs> Sorry, kid. <laughs> just call. Just rename your dog Dogger. <laughs> Let's follow him. See where Dogger goes. That child. Oh, well, Dogger disappeared. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> back to the topic. Oh, fuck. So yeah, that's another thing that you need to do quickly. <laughs> the fire station. Get rid of. Hopefully, all the fire. Oh god, we. Yep, electrical problems. Another wind farming. I'm doing a detriment here by putting so much of them together. Um. Right. So, what else have I to do? I need more pop. A bit more population in. And so are the electricity problem, which I guess will be this. But that's going to take some time. Also, need to get residential in. Uh, 
let's get the right stench then. Let's hope that I get the money and if not I'll just get to the quick loan. What am I doing? You there Oh guys. Seriously need this much shopping space. Water. Right. Pipes. Water. Pipes. So eventually we'll be doing a bit more than just square building in this. This is just kind of the start until we unlock everything. Pretty sure I unlocked something else. Ah, police station. But it costs loads. I know. Not as much as I thought it did. I'll need to get this pretty soon as well because I mean last city I did I didn't spend oh come on guys stop being the electricity oh, box right loan um let's get 60 no 12,000 now Down here. No, oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, show you the moves in because I didn't want to do that. Put that here because I want to be building this out like that, like that. So uh, okay, so that's how you move things. It's that little button. Okay, I also need to build. Police station. So now I've got that there, it's probably going to take some time till I need another one. Let's have a quick look. Actually, that's one. So, yeah, I'm making twice as much as I need. So, so far, uh, Oh no, let's call it. I'll figure out a name by the next time. So, yeah, this is one of my favourite games to date. Because it's what SimCity should have been. I mean, you can just kind of follow. Eh, nope, balls. It's just kind of all this little stuff that SimCity di just didn't have. I mean, it was broken when it came out, SimCity, not this, this is just fantastic. Um, this has worked since, well, I guess yesterday, and everything's just been good with this. And although I wanted to play SimCity, I mean, that being an Origin, not that wasn't going to do it, wasn't going to play as Origin. Um, I suggest you get this, and in the next episode we'll do a bit more. But thank you for watching. I've been Scuba Knight. You've been lovely. Thank thanks for watching.